Hey, Ray Roman here. Today we're talking about audio for the wedding ceremony. What kind of audio are you using? Are you using wireless? Are you using little mini recorders? Are you using handheld microphones because they sound so good? Are you using camera microphones? Hopefully you're not using the camera microphone for your critical audio from the ceremony and reception. Hopefully you're going to be willing to make a little investment to acquire great audio for your films. So we're all set up. We have the, uh, we've got our field recorder. We've got our wireless microphones. We've got the voice recorders. We've got the handheld microphone. I have my transmitter here. So I know somewhere there's a receiver and that somewhere is at the mixer or soundboard. This receiver is, it's going to be plugged into one of these mic inputs, which if you're looking at the mixer here is right up here in this top corner. They're going to have a bunch of inputs and they're all mic XLR mic inputs. So I'm going to find this receiver from that handheld mic that they have set up plugged in right here. And I'm going to say, great. We're going to do a little switcheroo and I'm going to uh, introduce a splitter, a professional splitter into this equation here. This is a three way splitter. And basically what I have here is I'm going to have a line coming in from my receiver, an XLR. It's a balanced signal, which is going to give you the cleanest signal. We want to find this receiver that they have plugged into the mixer. You're going to take that XLR cable from your receiver and you're going to plug it into your splitter. Now on this end here, you're going to have two lines coming out. I've got one line going directly to my field recorder and I've got one line coming right here to the mixer. You're just going to replace their line that they originally had set in this mic input and you're going to replace it with the cable coming out of the splitter. They essentially have the same signal coming into their mixer as they did before. So in less than a minute, I've basically disconnected their receiver from the mixer. I've plugged that into one end of the splitter. And with this line coming off the back of the splitter, I just went ahead and replaced that and plugged it into their mixer. And then now with this end coming directly into my field recorder, I'm actually bypassing all these electronics. I'm basically taking that signal from this handheld microphone and I'm bringing it directly into my field recorder. And this is going to give me very, very pristine audio. I'm not going to get none of that signal noise that you generally get. Basically what I've done is I've, I've intercepted the signal from the handheld microphone from the ceremony, which is great because now all the audio that's being recorded directly to my field recorder and not passing through a mixer is going to sound just like this. If the sound technician has his own lav mics and you're comfortable using his lav lear mics, you can do the same thing. You can pick up a couple more splitters and, and basically you can intercept every, every signal that's coming into his board. You can intercept them all. You're just going to need additional splitters. So if there's, if there's four signals coming in that you want to intercept, you're going to need four splitters. Okay. And if you have a four channel field recorder, it works great. Thanks for checking out this video. If you'd like to learn more, I have an amazing workshop tour that's beginning January 19th, 2015. I'm going to be passing through 28 cities. There's over 50 workshops, in-depth seminars, hands-on workshops, everything you need to know about wedding cinematography. I'm going to cover it from A to Z. There's no scientific explanations, just flat out learning. I hope to see you there. For the past seven years, I've had the opportunity to interview over 200 of the world's top filmmakers and photographers. Without a doubt, Ray Roman is near the top of that list of those who have the perfect combination of artistic talent, business acumen, and the ability to train and inspire a room. I remember the first time I came across his work years ago, and I called him up and I told him I hated him because his work was so damn good. I first met Ray years ago, back when he first started. He probably had maybe like two or three wedding films under his belt at that time. And I would say probably not even a year later, he literally took the wedding filmmaking industry by storm. Because the guy is great. He is the best at what he does. Over two years ago, we attended Ray's workshop and it was really such a great decision. We have improved everything from our cinematography to the way we run our business in every aspect of our wedding videography business. Hands down, the best decision we ever made for our company is attending Ray Roman's workshop. He doesn't hold anything back. And for me, it was truly amazing because I had looked up to him because he's the top wedding videographer in the world. And here he is taking the time 
to share everything, like he'd held nothing back. The biggest takeaway from Ray's workshop is not only essential shooting skills, but also amazing business ideas. This not only made the business more money, but allows me to make even more awesome movies. You learn every aspect of wedding videography from Ray, and you're basically learning from the best in the business. One great thing I learned about Ray Roman's workshop was how to properly charge a client. And I was charging somewhere around $1,500. As, right after taking the workshop, I raised my prices and I packaged it a certain way. I was getting somewhere around $4,500 literally right after the workshop. Being in this industry, it's so important to remain on the cutting edge of things. And for us, that's through education. We believe that's the key and Ray's workshop is hands down second to none. If you haven't seen him yet, you'd be crazy not to. You're gonna learn a ton from him.